smoke so much weed she wouldn't believe and I get Welcome to India the Superpower Part 5 Astra is an active radar homing beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile, BRAM, developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, India. Astra is designed to be capable of engaging targets at varying range and altitudes allowing for engagement of both short-range targets, up to 20 km, and long-range targets, up to 80 to 110 km, using alternative propulsion modes. The missile was last tested on March 18, 2015 from a Su-30 MKI fighter against a simulated live target. The missile guidance is provided by a terminal active radar seeker and an updated mid-course internal guidance system, which locates and tracks targets. Onboard electronic countermeasures jam radar signals from enemy radar, making tracking of the missile difficult. The warhead is a 15 kg HE, high explosive, which is activated by a proximity fuse. The missile's maximum speed is Mach 4.5 plus and can attain maximum altitude of 20 kilometers. DRDO started developing the Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, BRAM, to arm the Indian Air Force's Mirage 2000H, MiG-29, Sea Harrier, Su-30 MKI, MiG-21 Bison and HAL Tejas fighter aircraft. The Mark II version of Astra will have a maximum range of 150 km and tail chase range of up to 35 km, and will feature shorter fins. Number four. Avatar Aerobic Vehicle for Trans-Atmospheric Hypersonic Aerospace Transportation is a concept for an unmanned single-stage reusable space plane capable of horizontal takeoff and landing. It is being developed by India's Defence Research and Development Organisation, DRDO, along with Indian Space Research Organisation, ISRO, and other research institutions. The spacecraft will be used for low-cost military and commercial satellite space launches. It would be the cheapest way to deliver material to space at petty rate of just 67 US dollars per kg. The spacecraft would be capable of delivering a 500 to 1000 kilograms payload to low Earth orbit and can withstand 100 launches in its lifespan. Avatar is being developed by India's Defence Research and Development Organisation, DRDO. Avatar is proposed to weigh only 25 tons in which 60% of mass will be liquid hydrogen fuel. Currently DRDO plans to build and fly a scaled-down version of Avatar, weighing just 3 tons at takeoff. ISRO has tentatively slated the prototype's test flight from the first launch pad of Satish Da-1 Space Center for February 2016. The first orbital flight is proposed for 2025. No. A new high explosive is in the making at a DRDO lab here that could replace other standard explosives of the armed forces such as RDX, HMX, FOX-7 and Amorphous Boron. The powerful explosive can substantially reduce the weight and size of the warhead while packing much more punch. The compound, Indian CL-20 or ICL-20, was indigenously developed in Hemral using inverse technology. CL-20 CL-20 or octanitrocubane is a nitramine class of explosive 15 times as powerful as HMX. HMX itself is more than 4 times as potent as RDX. CL-20 based shaped charges significantly improve the penetration over armors and could potentially be used in the bomb for the 120mm main gun mounted on the MBT Arjun tanks. The CL-20 is its reduced sensitivity enables easy handling and transportation and reduces the chances of mishap and loss to men, money, materials, and machines. The Abhay, fearless, 
is a prototype of India's indigenously developed infantry fighting vehicle. It was developed as a technology demonstrator and incorporates a number of advanced systems. In 2012 Russia proposed to produce their BMP-3 IFV in India under license. Near future it might become a replacement for the India's aging BMP-1 and BMP-2 IFVs. Indian Army plans to obtain up to 2,600 new IFVs. Turret incorporates a mix of weapons and has an indigenous fire control system. It is fitted with a 40mm high-velocity cannon. It also has a limited capability against low-flying air targets. Abhe carries 210 rounds for the main gun, including APSTs and HE rounds. It also has a Russian-made Concours. This anti-tank guided weapon has a maximum range of up to 4 km. The Abhe is also fitted with a 7.62mm machine gun and 40mm automatic grenade launcher. This IFV is powered by a TD2 V8 diesel engine, developing 550 horsepower. The Abhe has a state-of-the-art hydropneumatic suspension system. The Varanastra is an Indian advanced heavyweight anti-submarine torpedo, developed by Naval Science and Technological Laboratory of the DRDO for the Indian Navy. This torpedo is powered by an electric propulsion system with multiple 250 kWs silver oxide zinc a gazin, batteries. It can achieve speeds in excess of 40 knots, 74 km per hour, 46 miles per hour, weighs around 1.25 tons and can carry 250 kg, 550 pounds, of conventional warhead. It is also has advanced autonomous guidance algorithms with low drift navigational aids, insensitive warhead which can operate in various combat scenarios. It is the only torpedoes in the world to have a GPS based locating aid. The weapon has completed all environmental qualification tests like shock, vibration, temperature cycling, marine environmental tests, etc. Baranastra will be manufactured by Bharat Dynamics Limited in association with NSTL. Varanastra can be fired from the Rajput class destroyers, Delhi class and all future anti-submarine warfare ASW, ships capable of firing heavyweight torpedoes.